Wowie Wowie Coach. Yes, I'm talking to you. I am Ben Dooley, MCC and the uh, Coach's Confidence Coach. My whole quest is to help coaches just like you. I don't care what level of coaching you're at. I don't care how new you are at this or how long you've been doing it. I don't care what venue and what style are you a life coach, health coach, uh, business coach, uh, executive coach, uh, relationship coach. I don't care. Coaching is coaching as far as I'm concerned, and my job is to help you become a better, more powerful, and an incredibly impacting coach, the one that you are here to be. Now, uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this other myth that I love breaking up, and this is the 10,000 hour myth. Now, please tell me, uh, raise your hand, if you have heard something along the lines of, it takes 10,000 hours to be a master at something, right? We've all heard this. Now, I'm not going to debate the intention of that because, of course, yes, to be a master at something is an incredible accomplishment. Now, I mean, I'm considered a, a master certified coach, and I'm going to probably be one of the first ones to say I don't know about that. And when people say, Ben, what does it mean to be a master? How do you get to be a master? Well, I can tell you, uh, aside from taking my class, Shameless commercial plug. But really, you know, it, it, it's not that easy of a thing to define and explain. So to be honest, something like 10,000 hours to be a master at something, yeah, I can dig that. But let's look at this a little more closely. Now, first off, it's a number. It's just a big number. I can guarantee nobody sat down with a calculator and their calendar and looked at all the appointments and all the times that they were doing whatever task it was that they were doing, and then they added it all up and they went, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I've come to 10,000 hours and now I'm a master. They didn't. 10,000 hours does not define a master. Case in point. I've done many things for 10,000 hours, or at least it felt like 10,000 hours, and sure as heck, I haven't been a master at some of that. So, by the way, also, does that mean that at 9,999 hours, I'm an absolute idiot, I have no idea what I'm doing, but that last hour, bing, I get it, I'm a master, glorioski. No, of course it doesn't. It's just a big number. It's a huge number to indicate you need to devote an immense amount of time and energy and focus and commitment towards your profession, your task, your skill, your vocation, whatever it is that you are setting your sights on to be a master. So if it's not the number, what is it? Aha. So this is what I like to do. Let's take a look at what actually defines a masterful coach. Yeah, like in that 10,000 hours, let's just say that you leap ahead, you get to that final 10,000 hours, you have done it, congratulations. What will you have discovered? How will your coaching be different than how it is now? What will you, how will you think differently? How will you feel differently? What will you believe to be true? You don't believe it now, but when you are there at that 10,000 hour mark, then you will have discovered something. That's the important thing. So here's the other thing. I broke it down into the math. Oh, you're going to like this. See, if you started your coaching practice with 20 clients from day one, right? Day one. 20 clients, that's doable. If you look at it this way, you got four clients a day times five, 20. Now you do that every week, right? 20 clients every week. And these are full hour sessions, not that 50 minutes, 45 minutes or half hour or whatever. One hour sessions, 20 clients consistently, 20 clients a week. Now you got 52 weeks in a year. You take two weeks off uh, for vacation because you're going to need it. And so that's an easy 50 uh, see if I can do this. 50 times 20, which means that a thousand coaching hours have been accrued every year. So that means that it would take you 10, uh, 10 years to reach 10,000 hours. Now, I don't know about you, but I didn't start with 20 clients from the beginning, and I can pretty much bet 
none of buddy, none of buddy, that's a brilliant word, none of you and nobody out there actually started with 20 clients, let alone maintain it consistently for all that time. So really, if we're talking about adding up the actual time that you have spent, we're actually talking 15, 20 years, longer. From where I'm sitting, the world cannot wait for us to figure it out. The world needs us to show up fully, to really get faster towards discovering that mastery. Because when we are standing, sitting and standing in that mastery, that is when our confidence is high. That is when we can stand up and show up proudly and powerfully for our clients, regardless of their problems, regardless of their issues, regardless of their human condition that gets in the way, regardless of the conflicts and the problems that make coaching hard. When we are standing fully and confidently in our mastery, that is when we get to say, I can take it. And whatever you need, client, I will be that for you. And whatever you've got, bring it on. That is what the world needs from us. So, identify what's at the end so that you can then move faster towards it. Look, we do this with our clients, right? Why don't we do that with our coaches? Identify what's waiting for you at the end. What is it that it's going to be like? How will you think and feel differently? What will you believe to be true? What will your experience be different than how it is now? And when you identify that, then set your sights on it and go get it. So that's that. A little over five minutes, but I got on a roll. There's more to come. Keep checking back and keep passing this along. And I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic, masterful day. Bye.